welcome to learn new technology today we are going to see how we can read the data from excel file using selenium with c sharp so we have launched our visual studio code application ide let's create the new project c sharp next then let's give the project name so as per your requirement you can give the project name here then you need to click on create let's wait for that until the project is created the project template is created so this is our test class so these are the dependencies automatically these dependencies will be loaded so it shows some uh, alert it will get updated instantly don't worry about it so these are the packages required packages installed packages it shows there so we require selenium support let's go to browse menu then let's select the first option first package let's get install so let's click on ok let it be installed then second package we require selenium web driver for the chrome it's not bring up so let's change it to only as uh, then it will bring selenium web driver we require let's install it then let's click on ok then support we have installed then if you require any other browser like bro firefox then you need to install selenium firefox web driver so for us we are going to use only this uh, chrome driver so that's why we have installed selenium web prime so we can verify it here so the tick mark shows that we have installed these packages so here uh, let's remove then uh, this is a method we are going to use it so we can make it as read excel so here we need to import on package npoi so the first one we need to install for reading the data from the excel sheet let's install it let's click on ok so the required package is installed now we can read the test data using our code so here uh, we need to get the path of the excel sheet for that we have created the variable with the string So here we need to give the path data for demo d drive i kept my file as data for demo xlsx then we are going to use x ssf workbook class that we are going to use 
for this class we need to create an object workbook equal to new xsf workbook class then open close parenthesis then file class dot open it's not coming up So here we can give the path comma file dot open. So path we are passing here as an argument. Then we need to create the variable for sheet. Workbook that we have created the object. Object dot get sheet at so zero sheet the first sheet that we are referring then row for row we are creating our variable then the object that we have received is sheet dot get row of the first row we are referring that's why we have given zero then cell value we need to take variable variable so the value here row dot the variable dot get cell the first cell we are referring that's why we have given as zero then get string cell value so we need to select dot string cell value then dot trim that's where you see trim method then we need to print the value That's why we have given console a right line value, printing the value. So let's start on our. So here we have placed number 79 in the Excel sheet. So that we need to read. So let's compile it and run. successfully compiled so we need to run so we need to go to view test explorer so here we need to run all so we need to click on additional so we got 79 this is what we can read the input 